I Am Angus is brought to you by the Igenity Profile for Angus, the industry's most comprehensive DNA profile. In the spring of 2011, an old film was discovered in the basement of the American Angus Association. Shot in the fall of 1941, a month before the Japanese bombed Pearl Harbor and America entered World War II, the film is shown here for the first time on nationwide television. It tells the story of loyal alumnus IV, a crossbred Angus steer that was crowned grand champion over all breeds at the International Livestock Exposition in Chicago. Bred, fed, and shown by Purdue University, the steer earned a great deal of notoriety for the school. Shown here is Dr. Carl Gobble, who played an instrumental role in the university's animal husbandry program for 43 years. Gilman Stewart was responsible for fitting and showing the steer. Later in life, he served as president of the American Angus Association. As you can see, Stewart took a great deal of pride in preparing loyal alumnus for competition. The work paid off. Writing in the Aberdeen Angus Journal, editor and publisher Fred Haney underscored the momentousness of the occasion, stating that the steer was one of the finest examples of what a good Aberdeen Angus bull can do in the way of improving quality when used for crossing purposes either on registered females or on grade females. This then should prove conclusively to the man on the farm that he really should, if he wants to produce top quality calves, use a good high-class Aberdeen Angus herd bull. Following the championship, Loyal Alumnus was purchased by Firestone Tire and Rubber Company. The company used its customized Palace Deluxe Apartment truck to tour the country and to show the steer to hundreds of thousands of adoring people across the country. The large windows provided the steer with an open and unobstructed view of the crowds that awaited him. Fred Haney, writing again in the Aberdeen Angus Journal, stated that the Firestone Tire and Rubber Company will again be preaching to rural America the sermon of better beef, and at the same time supplying a demonstration of what is being done by those who are devoting their time and energy to the scheme of producing better beef. Even Purdue's president, Edward C. Elliott, got into the act. He knew a good thing when he saw it. During Elliott's 23-year tenure, enrollment at the university more than doubled. 28 major buildings were constructed on campus, and the university's net worth nearly tripled. Perhaps most of all, this old film provides us with a window to a more innocent time, when agriculture still mattered to most of the population, when people still knew and cared about where their food came from. Many of the young people shown here no doubt would soon find themselves on the battlefields of Europe and the beaches of the Pacific. All would be affected deeply, directly and personally by those events. And a champion steer raised by a committed university and adored by countless many would slip into memories of times gone by. <laughs>